So me and some of my friends who've been working out together for years, we've always wondered, what if someone came in the gym with a gun? We've always wondered if you held up a plate in front of you and the bullet struck it, would it save your life? Well, today we're gonna find out. We're gonna shoot this 25 pound plate with a nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, 44 mag, and 454 casul. If the nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 44 mag don't bust it, we're gonna go ahead and shoot it with the double tap 400 grain 454 casul hard cast. And if that doesn't bust it, then I think we can say that if you held this up and someone shot at you and hit it, that it would save your life. That is assuming that your shooter is a good shot. Nine millimeter. All right, the nine millimeter just barely put a dent in it. 10 millimeter. Nine millimeter and 10 millimeter have not done anything to this plate. Put a little dent right here, that's about it. So let's move up to 44 mag. 44 magnet. So here's where our 44 magnum hit. Knocked the plate down, put a pretty big dent in it, but didn't bust it. All right, double tap, 400 grain hard cast, 454 casul. This gun already kicks like a mule as it is. But you put a 400 grain hard cast in there and it's gonna hurt your hand. But what I wanna show you is this gun produces so much recoil that it has broken my grip. And you can see there's cracks in the grip and it's loose from where this gun produces so much recoil and that's all going into your hand. 454 Casul 400 grain hard cast left a pretty big mark, pretty big dent, but did not bust it. Okay, none of our pistol rounds made it through our 25 pound weight, so we're going to shoot it with one more thing Remington Core Lock 150 grain 30 out 6. The 30-06 did not penetrate, but it did do some damage to this 25-pound plate. There's a nice bulge in the back, and it cracked. I wonder what would happen if we shot it again in the same spot. One more time, and I'm done. When you first walk up here, it looks like that third shot went through the plate because our cinder block is broken. But we still did not penetrate this 25 pound plate. All that force traveled through that plate and into the cinder block, breaking it. I know I said that I would shoot it one more time and then I would be done, but now I have to shoot it one more time. I forgot to put my ears in. And that was freaking loud. It took four shots from a 30 out six, but we finally penetrated our 25 pound weight. So if you're really observant and you noticed at the beginning of the video, there was no rust on this plate. And now at the end of the video, there is rust on this plate. It's because I ran out of daylight when I was filming and I had to wait a few days to shoot it with the rifle. So we shot this 25 pound weight with nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, 44 mag, and 454 casul. None of those pistol cartridges did much to this 25 pound weight. Even when we shot this 25 pound weight with a 30 out 6, it did not bust the plate. This is an old iron weight. Most gyms nowadays have weights made out of all kinds of different materials. But if your gym has iron weights and there was an active shooter situation in your gym and somehow you used one of these weights for protection, I would say that it would stop most things. But if for some reason you never ran and you got hit in the same spot multiple times with a high powered rifle, then it might be a different story. I appreciate you checking out the video. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you would like to see new videos like this every week, please subscribe to our channel. You can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links are in the description below. This is Kentucky Ballistics, and we'll see you next week.